Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to show you how to uh, create a lofted surface and maintain either tangency or curvature continuity and even play with the G level 3, uh, pardon me, the, the, the G3 level of uh, continuity controls, uh, controlling the magnitude of continuity. Okay, here we go. Here we have two surfaces, okay? And just to kind of show you how they were created, uh, this is a constrained surface here that was created just using uh, four curves, okay? And you can see it's a little bit of a 3D shape. Uh, then this other one here is a surface that was just swept, okay? Uh, here you can see the guide curve, uh, pardon me, the guide curve and the section curve, and we just swept it down there, nice and simple. The goal here is to loft between this face and this face from this edge to this edge, okay? Let's see what happens. So we're going to go to loft. And here we're going to choose the profiles. I want to loft from here to there. And I'm just going to double click the arrow to invert it. And right away you see a preview of the surface. Okay? And this is just going from edge to edge. And if we were to validate that, you can see it's a nice clean surface. But uh, maybe it's not the best. How do we know? Well, let's maybe look at zebra rendering. When we go to zebra rendering, you can see that the, pardon me, the zebra stripes don't even line up really well. In some cases they appear to be lining up, but in all reality, not very good at all. So let's see if we can make this better. And you can see the hard lines here and whatnot as well. Uh, we can edit while we're in this zebra mode. So let's just go ahead and edit the loft. And let's add a constraint. And to add a constraint, it's really easy. You go to the edge where you're blending, right mouse button click and choose Add Constraint. And like that, we've added a tangent constraint. And looking at the zebra rendering, you can see it's much better up there already. You can even play with the magnitude of tangency here and make that blend out even on, or pardon me over a longer portion of that surface. So that's pretty neat. Or we can say let's make it curvature continuous which really drastically changes how that blending surface comes out of there including along the edges here. Okay? Let's do the same thing here and see what happens. Right now if I rotate this up you can see that we have a hard edge here plus it's not blended very well between so let's go here and say add constraint and just like that, you can see here the curvature continuity continues here. Or pardon me, the tangency continues there and there. The zebra uh, striping is much better. Let's force curvature. Now we're even better. And you can see that blending lofted surface is really, really doing a good job of maintaining the curvature conditions between the two faces. And again, you can play with the magnitude here all you want to uh, play with the G3 level of curvature continuity. Let's validate that. Okay, so here now we see a good job. Okay, and you can see with the zebra striping everything is matching up perfectly. It's all beautiful. Um, let's take it to the next level. Let's do a, a reflection test, shall we? Well, the best way to do a reflection test is to add some reflection characteristics. But before we do that, I'm going to tell the software to sew all of these elements together to make them one surface. And then I'm going to use Top Solid 7's built-in PDM to apply a chrome uh, characteristic to the part. As well, I'm going to go ahead and remove that, switch my filter here to be environments. We'll refresh, and let's drag and drop the museum into it. There we go. Sorry, it's on the other side. Let's minimize this, and now you can see, as we're going through, the quality of the reflection. Let's zoom up a little bit. Maybe we'll drag this onto there as well. Pretty nice. Pretty clean. You can't tell that this was actually three separate surfaces. So hopefully this introduces you a little bit better to some of the power and ease that's within Top Solid 7 today. Um, you can make things curvature continuous with relative ease. You don't have to worry about a lot of those high-end uh, settings that some of the other softwares out there make you play with. Uh, we handle that more automatically in the background for you.